In this video, I'm going to show you how to create multiple options with checkboxes here in Google Sheets. So if you want to create a step-by-step -step process with checkboxes, what you're going to do first is to insert those checkboxes. So select the range where you want those checkboxes in. There you go. Then go to insert and select checkbox. And there you have it. Now the default cell values for each of these checkboxes would be false for an unchecked box and true for checkbox. So again, if that's unchecked, you'll see that it's false. Then if it's checked, then it is true. So for these columns, I want to create custom values for those checkboxes. So for this first column, what I'm going to do is to select that entire column. There we go. Then go to data here in the menu bar and select data validation. There we have it. And here it is. So here is our selected checkbox. We have B2 to D25. Well, actually, I'm going to change that because that is only going to be from B25. There you go. Then we have our criteria, which is our checkbox and our custom cell values. So we're going to check on this to change the values when it is checked and unchecked. So it's going to show something different here in our formula bar at the top if this checkbox is checked. So if it's checked, we want it to show processed. The order status would be processed if it's checked and that would be pending when it's unchecked. If we click on done, there we have it. Right now you'll see that the status is pending. And if we check on that, the status would be process. So if you check on these checkboxes, they will tell you it's processed. And if it's not checked, it's pending. Let's do the same thing for the following columns. For the payment status, again, I'm just going to select that range. There we go. Add a rule. We're going to go for checkbox. There we go. Then use custom cell values. We're going to do the same thing. This time for the checked, we are going to put in paid. That's our payment status. And unpaid for the unchecked one. Click on done. And there we have it. We've changed the cell values for these checkboxes in this column. If it's checked, that's paid. If it's unchecked, that's unpaid. And for the last one, our shipment status, let's go ahead and select that. Add a rule. Change that to checkbox. Use custom cell values. That will be shipped and not complete click on done. And there you have it again, unchecked, not complete, checked, shipped. So that's how easy you can customize the cell values for these checkboxes. In a previous video, I've shown you how to do this differently. Instead of having those cell values change, we're going to rely on the if function to create conditions based on those checkboxes. So let's start with this one. So we're going to do equal sign if function, if this cell right here is equal to true, which is the default cell value for a checkbox, then it should show process. If it's unchecked, then it should show pending. Close that off, press enter, and there you have it. We're going to double click to autofill the rest of our data. And if we check on it, it will say it was processed. We're going to do the same thing with our payment status and our shipment status equal sign. If, if this is equal to true, then it should show paid. If not, then unpaid. Double click to autofill the rest of this column. There you have it. If you check on it, it will say paid. And the last one again, equal sign if, again, if this checkbox is equal to true, then it should show shipped. If it's false, not complete. Press enter, double click. If it's checked, it would be shipped. 
And there you have it. So we've created multiple options with these checkboxes, whether that's changing the custom cell values for each of these checkboxes or creating conditions based on those checkboxes. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial. Make sure to subscribe for more helpful videos and I will see you in the next one.